messages provide clarity, guidance, healing, and understanding, as well as a higher knowledge and perception of what karmic cycles and soul lessons they may be going through. And all that you are and all that you do, Lord, and all that I am and all that I do, I live by your word and your word only. Amen. All right, let's take a look here, collective, and see what the prominent energy is for you. We have the Page of Swords as the current situation. We have the Nine of Swords as the challenge. And probable outcome and solution is the Eight of Pentacles here. On the bottom of the deck, I see the Two of Swords. You also have the Moon card. Pisces energy, Virgo energy is present. Um, I feel right now I'm tapping into a collective where things may be at a standstill in a particular connection. You may actually not be communicating with this person. I do feel like you've pulled back and are trying to observe, okay? Um, and this is not just in regards to this relationship. I feel like right now, in all areas of your life, you are pulled back. So this may be a very quiet weekend for you. You may feel kind of blocked or you may block someone or really want to keep to yourself. I see you observing. There is an energy here of someone who wants to communicate with you, but they're not quite ready. All right. Your current uh, situation is the page of swords. This lets me know that there is um, some watching going on between one another. Somebody could be watching you, whether it's on social media or through friends, but they're not really commenting. They're not reaching out. It does still seem to be silence. Um, I'm also seeing a heartbreak or a betrayal that took place. And this all may start to come to uh, fruition this weekend, whether it's through communication or somebody has an inkling that there's a third party situation taking place. The challenge here is this anxiety, is this concern over what is taking place. I'm seeing someone have sleepless nights, the inability to quiet their mind, the inability to work through the situations that have recently occurred in regards to a relationship. There may be an inability to take accountability right now. And that inability to take accountability and actually collective, I feel like that is the energy of the other person. Okay. Um, place it where it belongs as this is a large collective. So some of this energy may belong to the other person, right? Or some may belong to you. You'll know best on your situation. But with the Page of Swords and the Nine of Swords, that gives me the 10. So I see something coming to an end. It's a cycle. It was not a good cycle. Okay, so the positive is that you're coming out of something that was very, very difficult. Um, the downside to that is no matter if it was a negative or positive cycle, there's always going to be some pain when needing to detach, okay? Um, and this is the energy that's coming through. You're going through a period where the focus needs to be on yourself. What can you work on within your self collective to bring a shift and a change in your life where you won't experience this type of helplessness, this type of anxiety, Okay, this type of sleepless nights. I do feel like someone betrayed your trust. They were lying to you. They were hiding something from you. There was some third party activity here, which could have been another person. It could have been drugs. It could have been an addiction. It could have been an obsessive type of behavior. Okay. It could have also been different levels of perception and communication with the swords here. I feel like maybe you outgrew each other somewhere in this relationship when at one point you guys were aligned. All right. That often happens. There is a struggle in letting go and releasing. 
But the solution that spirit is saying to you, collective, is this eight of pentacles. It's time to get down to business. It's time to focus your energy into correcting and perfecting something. There's something that needs you to go back around and take a look at it. There's something that needs you to focus in and hone in with your creative skills and details. I see you kind of nitpicking at coulda, woulda, shouldas, but instead you need to take those situations and say, okay, yes, I should have done this. How can I apply this now to my future? How can I apply this now to how I handle this situation or how I communicate my needs or express my wants, okay? This is about fixing yourself and aligning things so that you can get back on track. Tell me about this page of swords. You have the Ace of Cups to clarify. So this is somebody who wants to come back around. They're observing you with a lot of love in their heart. A lot of love is overflowing. This is unconditional love. Regardless of what you've been through in the past, there's a shift in perception here. And I feel like this is also why it's coming through as the Page of Swords. Because Spirit is showing me that there's a shift in perception this person who's watching you or observing you from afar is now coming into the truth and the knowledge of just how much you meant to them and i feel like this person is preparing themselves to communicate with you i don't see it happening this weekend they're preparing themselves to reach out this is somebody who is now in the stages of recognizing their wrongdoing and it's causing a lot of anxiety and heartbreak. You're feeling the effects of this energy. You're mirroring each other, okay? This person is tugging on your energy collective. But right now, there's a separation, there's a block from communication because this is a time period where you're supposed to go within and meditate. This is a time period where, like I said, I see you nitpicking. That's what you're supposed to be doing, pinpointing something. Why is this here? Why is this a trigger? Why is this a wound? Eight of pentacles, right? Getting out your chisel and trying to figure it out and break that open so that light can go into that, that issue, that trauma, that wound, that trigger so that it can be healed, so that you can close out cycles. I know that it's difficult, Collective, because I see a lot of you wanting to focus on this outside energy and know what they are up to. In a way, they're up to the same thing you are. They're working on themselves. They seem, though, right now to be heavily focused on you, observing you from a distance. Again, viewing your social media, somebody I'm seeing is typing out messages and deleting them or erasing them. They're, they're not sending them. Somebody has a draft saved in their email that they're getting ready to email to a person, but they haven't sent that email yet. Why? They're so fearful of rejection because of what has happened in the past. I'm going to say something that may be difficult for the collective to hear, but I see this progressing um, as time goes forward. One of the lessons here, may not be for everyone, but one of the lessons that Spirit is showing me is sometimes to close out a cycle, we have to go back and visit or have some type of conversation that is a, um, a grown closure, okay? It's where we go, we address the situation, no hard feelings, but I'm still going to close this cycle with you because I see what's taking place here. Someone is nervous about being rejected, but they want to come forward and work on a connection with you. But you may be in this energy of still focusing on self and trying to reach new levels of accomplishments within yourself and your personal goals. So you don't have time to dive deep into other situations with, with another person. All right, Collective, I thank you so much for taking the time to view this reading, and I look forward to seeing you again. Bye.